What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to integrate your Slack with Airtable or your Airtable with Slack. If you haven't used either of these apps before, Slack is an amazing team like communication tool and Airtable is an amazing relational database like Excel or Access, more so like Access. But if you haven't met me before, my name is Ben Green and I help people optimize and integrate their information systems and really help optimize their processes along the way as well. So. If you need more information with, on that and need help, go ahead and go down into the description and click request a consultation and get started. Without further ado, we'll get right into the video now. So the way I always like to start out doing this integration is starting out in Airtable. And the reason I like doing that is because you can come to your Airtable, come to whichever base you want that notification to be going into Slack, and you just click this little button right here in the bottom of any of these. We're gonna do it in this job search base and you click that, scroll down, and then click Slack notifications. When you click that, it's gonna pull you into this. Once that loads, you'll see something similar to this, but with your base here. And you probably don't have Slack set up yet, and I will show you how to do that. So you click right here, you click add to Slack, and then you enter your Slack like URL or your workspace in here, and I will go ahead and do that now. So once you've done that, you can just press continue, and then it's gonna ask you to sign in to your workspace. So you go ahead, sign into your workspace, and then you can get started with the integration and we'll jump to that now. So after you log in, you'll probably see a page that looks similar to this, and this is what Airtable needs to request access to post in your Slack channel and have access to your Slack channels. So I would just leave the, what is Airtable allowed to view just as they have it, and then just pick whichever Slack channel you're wanting to have this integration be able to post into. So like if it's a request in like a certain vertical of your business, then have that go into that channel with that vertical where you have all of that in that channel. Just make sure what you're sending over is going into the right channel is basically what I'm trying to say here. Then you just click allow. And then once that loads, you will come back to a screen that looks similar to your first. So this is where you get granular and this is where you, you have three choices here to choose from. You have all activity in the base, updates to watched records, and also updates to records visible in a view. So this can be updates and this will also notify you if there's like a new record created because that's an, considered an update. So pick whichever one of these is best for you. Most likely it's going to be just a view. So like if somebody's filling out a form and you want to get notified of that, then you would probably just want to click whichever view can see the information output from that form. So I went ahead and selected the view that I wanted and you you can use a test message if you want, if you want to see what that looks like. I'm not going to in, in this example. Make sure this is enabled right here and then just click done. After you've created this, you'll be able to see all of your existing rules here. I'm not going to go show you all of mine, but you'll be able to see a list of all of your existing rules for your Airtable, your, that workspace that you're in with your corresponding Slack account in here. So I hope this was very useful and I hope you, now you know how to do that Slack and Airtable integration. And this will save you a ton of time, whether it's just people filling out forms for you and you getting notifications and sending them to your personal one or for, the, for multiple people to see and have visibility over. I hope this was incredibly useful. So if you need software consulting work done for you, then go request a consultation in the description, but otherwise throw a comment in the comment section and say what you are using Airtable and Slack for, whether it's your business, your personal life, a team you're managing, or whatever that looks like. I'd love to know. Go ahead and throw it in the comments. And the next suggested video should be a video on how to use Airtable better.